An increasingly happy marriage is good for the heart emotionally and physically, according to a new study. The Journal of Epidemiology and Community Health finding that a marriage that gets better over the years will result in lower cholesterol and better blood pressure. Joining us now, Dr. Michael Varshavsky, known as Dr. Mike. Dr. Mike, Okay, how many people were in this study, like five? Because, like, <laughs> whose marriage gets better over time? Well, they had a large sample size. So that's why probably they were able to catch people some people. People were lying about how happy their marriages it, were. Exactly. Right? I think it was about 2,000 people in this study. And th what they found was that people who became happier in their marriages were the healthy ones. So if you were happy to start off with and then continued being happy with your marriage, your health wasn't that much better than someone who was very unhappy with their marriage. So I'm going to combine you and the guy we had on before. So I'm, I'm happily married, 25 <laughs> years it's going to be. Just had my physical, cardio's good, cholesterol's good, and now I'm going to go have a fat burger. Well, look, you've got to celebrate put it all, the marriage I'm putting somehow. it all together. You've earned it, though. Yeah, I've earned clearly, it. Clearly, exactly. I mean, 25 years, I mean, it's... Uh... How do you actually judge? Are you actually taking their cholesterol count, their cardio count? And stress numbers. Tests. I mean, what are the variables? Yeah. So the variables that they looked for, and what the study did uniquely, is that they did it over the course of 16 years. Okay. They didn't just pick out a group of people that were married and compare them to who those who weren't married. They followed the same group of people of 16 years, so you sort of eliminate the ups and downs of a marriage and you get a better point of view. And they tested their resting heart rate, their blood pressure, their LDL, which is known as the bad cholesterol. And they found that the risk factors get worse if your marriage is worse. But the major thing that changed is the blood pressure. If you had a bad marriage, your blood pressure was significantly higher. But that's higher. really just because you're saying stress impacts health. Of course it absolutely, does. Absolutely, absolutely. But now to have that on paper and to follow a group of people for 16 years, it's nice to have that validity from a study. What about kind of the exercise component? I mean, I presume you're doing more things together. You're perhaps more incentivized to, to be more active. Look, whether you're in a bad marriage or in a lousy job, you're going to be not motivated to go to the gym. You're not going to be motivated to stay away from fat burgers. Sorry. Mm -hmm. but, but ironically, when women initially are in healthy, happy relationships, when they start dating, I've always noticed people I know gain weight. And so, living together, right? <laughs> right. Yeah. That when you're comfortable, well, you, you gain you weight and let yourself harder. go. So that's why, and that's their theory, that they believe that those who were consistently happy, that didn't get happier, were actually getting unhealthy because of that comfort factor. They thought that since nothing was getting better, nothing was getting worse, they became comfortable and they were eating a little unhealthier. So that is one of the theories. All right. It was great to see you, Dr. Mike. We have